Hello and welcome to this Sum CMS Pro 101 video tutorial and today we're going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and prepare your site for the first time using Sum CMS Pro. Okay so to begin the first thing you want to do is actually sign up. So when you go to the sign up page you'll be able to select three different plans. You have the basic plan which comes with a 14 day trial, your premium plan which is going to be the ideal plan because this comes with a the choice of using your own domain name or vanity URL. Uh, it has three gigabytes of storage and it comes with a help desk account so you can submit uh, support tickets in case you ever run into any issues. The retainer plan is obviously much higher because you're paying for five hours of servicing every month. In that sense, you were able to actually maintain the website for you. So it's really up to you. Most likely you're going to go ahead and select the premium plan. But for this demonstration, I actually went ahead and, and registered already. So I already have my site created. And uh, you could pause this video if you need to go ahead and register now. And so that way you can have your site too. So once you register the site, you will receive an email. Well, first it's going to tell you within the email that your site is ready and then second is going to provide you a link to your admin console which you can then go ahead and log in and manage your website so this is how the login page for your admin console will look like and I'm going to go ahead and log in now so now that I'm logged in the first thing you want to do the first time you log into your admin console is select a theme the reason why is because with a fresh install of some CMS Pro your home page has a uh, park parking page and it will tell you to actually select a theme so you want to go ahead and select management themes and then choose one of the, the themes you have now depending on which plan you selected if you have basic uh, then you'll you'll only have the basic version one theme if you select the premium plan then you'll have basic version one and simple folio theme available to choose from in this case I selected the simple folio it's already set and as you can see here this is how my website currently looks like because it has no content it, uh, prepared or set for the site yet so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now so let's go ahead and go back to our admin console and let's create a new page or actually oh, my apologies the first thing you want to do before doing any of this is have your content ready so in this case for this demonstration I actually prepared a folder with photos um, a background pattern a logo and some gibberish content uh, text that designers use called lipsum and in this and, and we're gonna go ahead and prepare a fake plumbing website or a fake plumbing company website that provides plumbing services so by having this, this makes your life much, much easier and you can actually set up your website all in one shot. So now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go to media files and we're going to go ahead and upload all of our photos right off the bat. And the reason why I'm going to do this is because it just makes things easier. I don't have to go and upload the photo again or later down the line. I could just already have the photo there available for me to use from the server. So I'm creating a folder called Photos. And now I'm going to go ahead and upload all my photos into this folder. Okay, so now we have our photos here. And we're going to go ahead and create our first page. Now, since this is going to be our home page, I'm going to go ahead and check this box on the top. I'm going to name this Welcome to Mr. Plumbing. I'm going to add some text content here. I'm going to select a splash image. And what I mean by splash image is basically, you know when you visit a website, you'll see some type of imagery on the very top. Usually it's a very big uh, 
space of, of, of a photo and this is usually used to demonstrate or to go with whatever the content of that page is uh, related to um, so that's what a splash page is or a splash image I'm sorry and I'm going to go ahead and select this photo right here so now that that's photo selected I'll add some keywords that's gonna uh, help out with my SEO or search engine optimization and I'm going to add a short description here and I'm going to publish it okay so now that I created this this first page I added a splash image I added the content it has some keywords and a description so we're going to go ahead and go to the, the website and refresh and there you go that we have our first page using some CMS Pro but you notice we don't have any navigation oh we haven't created that yet so let's go ahead and create our navigation and I'm gonna go ahead and select management and menus now select header and I'm gonna start adding some menu items so the first one I want to add is my home button because well everyone needs to get home so we'll add that we'll also add um, our blog and we'll add a contact page now you'll also see that I have a page that says welcome to Mr. Plumbing which is the page we just created now the reason why I'm not putting this page there is because remember we decided to make this page our home page so that means when we click on home we are already going to this page so there's no need to put this page there twice so that's so we're gonna leave that out for now and then have these three as our basically our, our navigation options and save it now if we go back to our page or our website refresh and now you have the three buttons on the very top and we can also rearrange this and this is demonstrated in one of our help videos which is located on the very top corner if you if you select help video you'll see a whole full demonstration on how to use the page that you're currently on so if I wanted to rearrange this I can actually put the blog last save menu and then refresh and now you see that these two switch places here alright so so we have our home page that kinda says hey this is you know Mr. Plumbing website or services and we've been around for 20 years blah 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 etc etc so the next thing you want to probably want to do is add a servicing page what services you offer well we'll go ahead and call this services and again we'll drop in some content select the splash image here again with the keywords another description and publish and now let's go ahead and create another page and we're going to do the exact same thing now obviously in your situation you're gonna have different content for every page so I'm just doing a bunch of uh, gibberish here just to kinda of fill in fill this in but you're gonna have actually uh, you know detailed content according to the page you're creating 
so you'll probably have a little bit of a longer process but this is just for demonstration purposes obviously um, and we're gonna call this portfolio and we are going to publish or actually let me select another image here and publish this one as well so now we go to our pages you'll see we have these three pages here we have our first welcome page our home page we have our services we have a portfolio so that's all great and dandy but that's all just text remember all we did was just put text in there and if you go to our site and refresh or actually I'm sorry we didn't even add these pages to our navigation so let's actually go to menus and we're gonna select header again and we are going to add services and portfolio I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit okay and save this now go back to our page or website refresh okay so now we have all of our pages here on the top uh, that's part of our navigation we have services you can see the the image I selected portfolio um, we have our blog which we don't have any blog entries yet so we won't see nothing here and we have our contact page which is a simple contact form so what I was saying before is that if you were to go to any of these pages it's just simple content it's just a paragraph here and the same thing in this situation just another paragraph now you obviously want to have a gallery of some sort for a portfolio so what we'll do is we'll go to galleries and we're going to create our first gallery portfolio select the layout and we're going to go ahead and manage this gallery and we're going to add each one of these photos here okay so now that we've added all of our images to our gallery we can actually go ahead and rearrange this to whichever position we want the photos to appear and it's automatically saved once you move the photos and so we'll go back to our pages and we'll edit portfolio alright so now this is where I want to add the gallery we just created right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it right here at the end of the paragraph I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to click this icon where it says insert gallery and remember we created a gallery called portfolio so you'll see this here you'll select it and hit OK and you get this strip of code now you're probably wondering like okay well where is the gallery I just created well this actually represents that gallery and the some CMS Pro platform recognizes that and will actually insert that gallery there so we'll go ahead and update this and we'll refresh our page here and now you see our gallery and it's really that simple so now you have a nice pre uh, presentable page with you know a gallery of your work that you've done to, sh to demonstrate the services that you you can offer and you select the image you can scroll through them it's a very clean uh, layout very nice look and is really simple to create so now for our services we want to do the same thing we don't just want to have 
a paragraph here. We actually want to have prices, uh, what does the service include, etc., etc. So we're going to go ahead and click on business and click on services. And we'll name this services. And select the layout. Okay, let's go ahead and manage the services here. And so I I don't know what type of services plumbers offer, so I'm just going to name this service one, service two, service three for this demonstration. And one thing that's great about adding these services, we have a own, we have our own library of icons you can choose from tons of icons that uh, you can use with the with your service title now you don't have to use these icons but if maybe you find one that fits that you think will actually work great great with uh, you know the type of work that you you or service you're offering then awesome you could use it but it's not it's not a requirement to add the service Okay, so now that we've added our services, we have three services here. Uh, one that's $19.99, $29.99, and $39.99. And we named this, remember we named this uh, service list called services. So now we'll go ahead and go back to our pages. And we're going to edit services. And like before, go to the end of the paragraph, hit enter and we're going to select insert service list select services hit OK update and let's go ahead and check this page out so now we have our list of services you have the titles with the little icons next to them small descriptions and prices and, it, and it's really that simple all you have to do is manage everything from your admin console and update your website and you could easily have a website within minutes to have something you know presentable for your company and that's the great thing about some CMS Pro so the next thing we want to add is uh, staff members now we haven't uh, added any staff members uh, yet so we're gonna go ahead and add it to the home page I think it'll be a good addition here and we'll add it uh, we'll actually go now and add this you have to go to businesses and you want to add the staff first so we'll call our first staff member John Doe and we'll call this guy's title plumber put a little bio description here and we don't actually have a photo of somebody so we'll just select that photo there and we'll add one more okay so now we have our staff members but we haven't created a staff list remember or I mean staff group so the staff members are one thing a staff group is another you want to create both because you may have different staff members for different categories and that's why we have them separated so now we're going to go ahead and create a staff group we'll call this our staff select the layout let's add the group and let's manage it we'll add both John and Steve save the group and let's go to our pages welcome and we'll add it between these two paragraphs here and we're going to go ahead and select insert staff group 
and hit update. All right, so let's go ahead and check our page out. And there you go. So now you have uh, your staff members listed here. And you have a little description, their title. Um, we already added the services, as you saw before, with prices. We added a nice little portfolio with the gallery. And now you may want to go ahead and start adding uh, or changing the layout and look of the website. So let's go back to our admin console and we'll go to management settings. And now let's go ahead and upload our logo. And we'll add a fake address here. And we'll add our number 555 five, 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 five. All right. Our hours we work. And that is it for now, an update. All right, so now this information I added, I just added here is not really to change the look and feel, but it's, it's to add the content uh, or the contact information that's necessary for most businesses. So we go to our website, you'll see that right now we don't have much of anything, just contact uh, demo site on the bottom which is a link to the contact page and that's pretty much it but now if we refresh you'll see now that it doesn't have the title of the website no more but the actual logo I created which is Mr. Plumber which gives it a nice look and feel and as well as the content down here you'll see we have our hours our phone number, our contact link, and our address. And so the last thing I want to show you is the color schemes. Okay, so this is where you could really customize the look and feel of your website. Okay, so we're going to go go ahead with a red and blue color scheme for this site. So what you want to do is hit show panel and you'll see all the colors that pertain to this particular theme and every theme is going to have its own set of, of coloring uh, and, and its own title for each color. So depending on which theme you'll have, you'll be able to go ahead and modify it a certain way. So we're going to go ahead and change all these turquoise colors to more of a blue, uh, bluish gray color. And I'm going to copy the same color for all these. I'll change these to like a red. And the background, I'm going to choose my own image. Remember the pattern we discussed before? This is what we're going to use it. All right. And I'm going to select tile for the pattern. And let's preview. Okay, so this is how our site will look right now if we were to select that or save the current settings. Um, but I want to go ahead and change this gray on the navigation a little bit, maybe a little bit lighter blue. I still have a gray. So we'll go ahead and change that. Yeah, there we go. But you see when we change that color, the text doesn't look right. So we got to go ahead and play with this here a little bit. We'll change this to a white.
Okay. That looks a little bit better. Yep, yeah, and we'll go with changing this background just a slightly hint of blue as well. All right. So now we have more more or less the colors that we we like and we'll go ahead and hit update theme. And it says the styling you have uh, selected have been applied. Return to dashboard. And now we can actually you see the, the, the way it looks now and refresh it. And now we have our new look and feel to our site. Uh, except I don't really like this gray here. So let me go back and change this around one more time show panel let's see here header background that's what we want to change okay alright so let's refresh this All right, and there you go. So that pretty much demonstrates on how easy it is to work with um, some CMS Pro. And it, you're probably wondering why the, this map is now showing. It's because we added an address here. And obviously, this is not a correct address. So it's not showing the, you know, this is not specifying anywhere on the map. but I guess just to demonstrate, let's look up Google's address. And let's just copy it just for the sake of the demonstration. And we'll change our settings to put this as our address. And there you go. So if you obviously if you, you're going to put the correct address for your business, if you have a physical location, and it will appear here, um, which is a nice little map to give uh, your customers, you know, something to follow there, and uh, and that's pretty much it. So this will conclude our our one-on-one -on -one demonstration on how to use some CMS Pro and how to set up your site. All it, all, all it really takes is just having your content uh, prepared uh, beforehand, and then when you sign up, you could just actually just go ahead and just lay it all in and set it up the way you like, and you can have your a business website within minutes of just signing up and registering with some CMS Pro. So I hope you really like this demonstration and looking forward to seeing the, you guys using this uh, platform.